Hi everyone, my name is Chantelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to make a book nook from scratch and it's going to be a graveyard book nook. I'm starting off by taking apart two cereal boxes. From each box I keep the long side and the short side. You can also make this from one box but for some reason I chose to use two. And then I'm sticking these parts together with some masking tape. Because I know some of you want to make this at home, I am just showing you the measurements here. I will also leave them in the description box down below so you can make it yourself. What I am doing here is adding more cardboard to the sides and the back, just to make it a little bit stronger. And these three cards are for the top and the double base, and the double base is so I can hide the lights. This is where I add the strips where the top of the base will sit on. And now to glue the first base on. The second base that sits underneath won't actually be attached because it kind of sits in there in between the cardboard in the end. Before I attach the tissue paper with the PVA glue, I'm going to add masking tape to all the ends where you can see the corrugation of the cardboard. Then when all the edges are sealed in, I'm going to apply tissue paper to the entire box with a mixture of water and PVA glue. Once the entire inside of the box is covered with the tissue paper and the PVA glue, I'm going to make a little hill from foil and gluing that in place. And then I'm going to cover the entire hillside with the tissue paper as well. Moving on to some polymer clay creations. Here I am making a little pumpkin and you all know how much I love creating little pumpkins. And this was not any different, so I made a whole army of pumpkins. From some egg carton I'm cutting these tiny little stepping stones and gluing them into place to form a path. For this I am using wood glue. Once the path is in I am going to attach the lights. I can explain how I did this but it's basically just poking holes and poking the lights in where you want them. Moving on to the decoration of the diorama or the graveyard scene with some just some playground sand and some wood glue I am mixing these together and applying it to the base of the diorama as ground cover. Then with the same wood glue I'm going to apply some tiny little pebbles to the scene as well, just to give it a little bit more interest and make it look like a real landscape. Then moving on to painting, I am using simple acrylic paints and some paints from Vallejo as well because they are just fantastic for coverage. I am applying different shades of browns and greens and black and grey to the path. I wanted this graveyard to have one of those vintage old looking gates. So with some wooden cocktail sticks I am creating these gates. I am using super glue to attach the horizontal beams. Mm -hmm. 
Now I found this little thing and I, I got more of them in a little playground where I was with my daughter and I thought they would make perfect little tufts for little sceneries. So here I'm applying all these little bits with some wood glue to the scenery and this is what it looks like. So effective. Here are the gates again, all dry and ready to be painted. I'm starting off with some black acrylic paints. And then dry brushing on some silver and also some copper color, just to make them look a little bit more aged. Now I couldn't make up my mind on where I wanted the front lights to be, so I've got four holes at the on the sides there which I'm covering up with some tissue paper which is not an issue at all just apply some more tissue paper to the hole and cover it up and apply some more of the ground cover and you're ready to go and this is me attaching the gates to the scenery now this is a mixture of PVA glue water and old basil that was out of date and I removed from my pantry and I thought I could use it for dioramas. You can see it on the sides at the back as it's still wet as I'm filming this part, which is how I made the brick walls. You remove one of the paper sides from foam board and then you can just put any detail in that you want and create brick walls this way. So this is what I created and I just want them to be a little bit lighter, like the path in the graveyard. And because I covered the sides of the foam board with acrylic paint, I can apply super glue. Moving on to some more polymer clay creations for this diorama. This is where I am creating the tombstones. I wanted to have a little tree as a feature in this diorama and that is what I'm creating here. I will add the foliage in the end when all the clay is baked and stuck down in the diorama. To give the tombstones more of a stone look, I am dry brushing some light grey acrylic paint over the tombstones here. I also brushed some light green on them to make it look like there is moss growing on them. And now the fun part and that is adding all the final bits and pieces to the diorama. You will see that I've also added some glow-in-the-dark paint, but let's have a look at what the final result looks like. And this is it for my very first book nook. It was fun creating this one, especially the landscape and adding the lights. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials and consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you're new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!